What's up guys, welcome back to Shark, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we are back with the 328, yes, back with some more daily vlogs with the 328, so, this thing has been an amazing daily, I've been enjoying it so much, we can get 20 MPG, and I think 20 MPG is not bad, but, I do think we get a little bit better MPG if you put back on the resonator and the muffler. People say that a resonator and a muffler doesn't actually affect the fuel economy. I do think because of the back, this cause I feel like a backfire or something, I do believe it will somewhat save a little bit more. And I've seen people with 328 same year actually get 22 to 23, possibly even 25. So I, my best was 21. I want to see if I get it 25 MPG on this car because that will make this the ultimate daily with an M3 interior. I think it's gonna be super sick. Plus, I'm not gonna lie, guys. So the thing is about resonator and muffler deletes. I used to do that on my cars a long time ago. It is the cheapest way to get some, uh, you know, some good sound out of your car. Downshifting, you do get to hear some burbles and some crackles. So for those guys who actually like that stuff, doing a resonator and doing a muffler delete is really, really, really nice. So if this is like your your fun car on the side. That would be great. But as a daily. Going on the highway and just putting on cruise control, the drone is so annoying that I get this massive headache that I honestly, I, I can't personally deal with anymore. I used to be able to deal with it more because I used to love the sound and the sound was better to me than the drone, but now, I don't know, for some reason, I just can't deal with drone anymore. So for those of you guys who are doing a muffler and resonator delete, just know the drone on the highway is really bad. If you're just driving in the city, you just want some sound, uh, it's loud, but it's not crazy loud, so it's actually kind of nice. But if you're commuting like I do on the highway, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, for me personally, I don't think it's worth it. That's why we actually have the muffler and the resonator. Shout out to the previous owner for actually including those two things so we can actually put it back on the car. Easy peasy. I'm sure they're probably charging like three, four hundred bucks to put it on, but um, end of the day, at least we can put that stuff back on and it shouldn't cost them any metal or anything like that. Without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys a cold startup on a 328 E92 with a resonator delete and a muffler delete. It smells like straight up gasoline. This thing is pretty loud in the morning. I'm not gonna lie. This thing's way louder than my M3 right now. <laughs> Man, that thing looks so good. Time to clean out the trunk, guys. We're gonna be loading up a bunch of exhaust stuff. So at this point, guys, we got the stuff loaded up. Let's head down to the exhaust shop. Guys, we have the 328 right over here and the exhaust shop is right behind us. So we're gonna go in there and see how long it's gonna take. If it's only gonna take about 30 minutes to an hour, I'm gonna stick around, but if they say like four to five hours, we're just gonna have to come back. All right, so I just got out. Unfortunately, they did say that they don't have time to do it right now, so it is gonna take a couple hours. Um, not a couple hours to do the job, but a couple hours before they actually start on the car and then a couple, like maybe like an hour or two to actually do the job. Um, they charge by the hour, so I guess we're gonna find out how much it's gonna cost us to put back on a resonator and muffler. But again, this is something that I wanna do. If for those of you guys who actually like to have some sound you guys drive in the city I would say a muffler delete is not the end of the world uh, but for those of you guys who hate drone don't do both of these uh, I mean it sounds good but it, it really like for me I just I, I prefer having the full exhaust back on the car especially as a daily so as soon as I hear back from them I'll let you guys know all right guys first start up with the new muffler uh, put back in and the resonator put back in oh yes <laughs> that sounds way better finally guys our daily is back to stock. Shout out to Specialized Exhausts. Finally, this thing actually drives like a daily. The drone is no longer there. It's actually very quiet, very peaceful. The suspension is the only thing that's kind of rough, but it sits really nicely. It's lowered on H&R lowering springs. I don't know if I actually want to go ahead and uh, take these off or put back the sock suspension because it came with the sock suspension. I just don't know if I want to do that right now because honestly, it looks super good the way it sits. I just don't like the way it feels, but honestly, you know, you got, you got to pay to play. That being said, I actually went down to Pickleful to get a few other things for this car and I went on 
eBay ordered one other thing for this car. So now that it's more, you know, more refined, more, you know, dailyable, um, we got the M3 seats, as you guys know, and these seats actually came heated. So for those of you guys who want to do like a heated seat retrofit, I'm going to show you guys the easiest thing in the world on how to do a heated seat retrofit. Just get two front heated seats. If you have it, I think it's, it has to be, I don't know if it works for all years. I think maybe it works for all E92s. I think E90s are a little bit different, but I think the LCI E90s, yes, or the pre-LCI, you just have to do some wiring. And then as far as like the uh, E92s, I believe them all, as long as you put in two front heated seats and you get the buttons, um, I'm not gonna spoil it. Let's just go ahead and install those real quick. They just start working. <laughs> yeah, just like that, guys. We have heated seats in the E92 M3. Literally just install them, press the heated seat button, and bada bing, bada bang. It already looks like all the wiring is already there from the factory. So, yeah, now our heated seats actually works. I got a brand new trim piece on there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I picked up the best trim piece I could possibly find on eBay. So this thing's almost like in brand new condition. All these buttons and everything are not even close to being faded. This came off of a 2013 E92, so like the most recent year E92. So this is in really, really, really good shape. I, get, I, pick like, I paid a good dime for this, honestly, guys. But we got a good trim piece, good buttons, the heated seats, the LCI one. So this is exactly what's meant for this car direct plug and place. I'm super happy about that. But also I went down to pick a pull guys and I don't know if you guys can see all these like scrapes and stuff and there's like this little, I don't know what's going on there. Again, I'm just trying to restore this car slowly but surely. Um, and then this thing, Jonathan gave me this piece but uh, I actually found an even better condition piece at pick a pull. So let's go ahead and install this new piece and install this new piece. So you know, we're just bringing the interior together slowly but surely. I also, while I was at pick a pull guys, I actually picked up another driver seat buckle. I always end up needing these for some reason reason they're like a hundred bucks on ebay and i can never justify the purchase um because i mean honestly if you go to a junkyard you can get one of these if you find a manual seat and you can get them for like 10 15 bucks which is how much i got that for but if you guys don't have a local junkyard if you can find them online for about 60 to 70 i think that's a pretty dang good deal even 80 is a good deal just when people sell them for like a hundred plus a hundred bucks 130 i just can't justify it because you can get them as cheap as that at a junkyard yeah they're hard to find at junkyards and that's why i got lucky i don't even need this one right now but i know down the road i might need that and then i actually found um an E90 perfectly good uh, Xenon headlight with all the modules, bracket and everything. Got that for 40 bucks. So I figured, you know, this is me. Like if I find a good deal, I got to cop it. Why not? I don't know if I'm ever going to get another E90. I honestly doubt it, especially a pre-LCI. But if a friend ends up needing a headlight and I can hook it up, make a little bit of money on that, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and install these last two trim pieces so we can make the daily look so much better. Guys, this trim piece is in so much better condition. I definitely want to get two new cup holders. These cup holders work, but I like the ones that actually have the line in between both of them. Again, down the road, never find a better trim piece. This one, guys, look how good this one is. Look how good this trim piece is. I got it for pick and pull. Um, super nice. Yeah, there's like a little bit of a flaw up there, but other than that, like this piece right here, you guys can see it's just shining. It's looking so, so, so good. There's a little bit of dirt in the crevices, but not a big deal. We can get all that out eventually, but super happy that I got one of those. <laughs> Yeah, guys, with the heated seat option, all the new chip pieces, the muffler and resonator back in the car. Sheesh, this thing's really coming together. Now, hopefully in the next video, guys, it's not going to be the 328. Hopefully the next video is going to be an E92 M3 update video, which we're getting something pretty cool done on that car. Let's just say the paint is going to look absolutely amazing. Plus, we actually have a box of things over there to perfect that interior. I've been getting a lot of parts. It's going to be one of the most satisfying videos ever to see the paint 
fully like I, I'm not gonna say anything else but you guys can probably guess what it is and then the interior and all the little bits perfected it's gonna be so 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 satisfying that's all gonna happen in one video hopefully once we get the car back from the shop so hopefully that's the next video we're just waiting for it to get back if that's not gonna be tomorrow's video because you know we're doing those daily uploads if I don't get it back today you know that's not gonna be tomorrow we might try to pick up something else because there is a car it's a really interesting BMW individual and it's only two thousand bucks so for an individual BMW for two thousand bucks um, we might have to check it out I don't know about the condition of it I know it's a salvage title um, but if it runs and drives for two thousand bucks individual we might have to cop it so I'll keep you guys posted it is an older car it is a very unique and um, has a problematic vehicle but I think it'd be kind of cool to bring it onto the channel and plus it's something that we actually haven't achieved on this board either so it's new it's new but without further ado guys that's gonna have to conclude this video if you guys are liking how the 328 daily is coming together make sure to smash that like button I cannot wait to slap on some M Sport bumpers soon and just make this thing absolutely perfect when getting everything paint match get this thing buff polish all that good stuff but before we do that I just want to put it out there if any of you guys are local in like LA area or maybe even Nevada or somewhere kind of close to California Sacramento and have a BMW that's just been sitting in your yard for years and you guys want to see it restored and rebuilt on this channel hit me up through my Instagram on YouTube I would love to tackle a new project that's very unique you know Copart's great and all but sometimes honestly it's funner getting a car from you guys and of course I'm going to pay for it you guys just let me know but without further ado that's gonna have to conclude the video it, it, unfortunately that's that's you know it's gonna have to conclude I believe this is like day five in a row so far so I think we're doing pretty good maybe even six maybe even six so yeah guys I love y'all so much remember to stay humble I see y'all in the next one peace out